Justin Blanchard. I'm creative director at Atensi. So working really closely with our simulation designers and across our products and game development teams to make really cool stuff. So starting a new job is really, really stressful. It's one of the most stressful things that people can do. There's a ton of stuff that can go wrong. There's a ton of new stuff to learn. Um, we take all of our expertise in game design and game development to create a safe space for people to try stuff out, get it wrong and start again. Um, for our players, that means that they're having a great experience. They're seeing all the stuff that can go wrong without having the stress that can come with that and trying to get that out of the way early. For organizations that we work with, we're helping them to grow to become exceptional. First and foremost, you are a writer and game designer, but not in a typical context. So we create simulations of people's workplaces. That means that as a writer, you're good at that. You're able to do that. You can produce a script. Um, ideally, you can produce a branching narrative script of the kind of thing that you might see in you know, Mass Effect would be an older example, Cyberpunk would be a more recent example. But the interesting thing about it is that it's not just a writing job, or even you know, if you compared it with a traditional games company where this might be more of a narrative design role, there's this whole other aspect to it that is almost more anthropological, where you have to sit with a company and work out how they tick and what makes their people tick and what makes them good at what they do, and turn that into a game where people are um, scored on different elements. If you're making a negotiation simulator, say, that is gonna be super different if it is based in a huge sprawling multinational bank compared to if it has a more clinical setting. Um, so there's this really interesting combination of, yeah, writing and writing interesting stuff and working out where those challenges and dilemmas should be from a gameplay perspective, but also that act of uh, ventriloquism and working out how to adopt, mimic and deploy the tone of the people that you're working with. In terms of my career, um, the dominant themes have been around writing, uh, storytelling and also learning and pedagogy. So I start with an undergraduate degree in English and then went into corporate public relations. I then went back to university for a master's looking at interactive narratives um, where games obviously played a huge part of that. Um, after that, I went into freelance writing um, and eventually find my way to uh, the space of ed tech. Uh, so I worked for a really cool little startup working on children's literacy through machine learning. And for them, I was designing curriculums and also writing stories for kids to guide them towards literacy. And that really kind of pulled together my interest in writing and pedagogy. I came to Atensi in 2019. I was either number 12 or number 13 through the door, depending on who you ask. And I joined as a simulation designer. So the role that we're talking about here. Um, in 2021, I became a team lead for simulation design. Uh, so managing the team, helping all of us to make good stuff. I am now creative director at Atensi. So the basic, most clean and simple thing you need to be a great simulation designer is to be a great writer. Um, the ability to kind of have honed your craft to the point where you can talk to a big group of people, pick up on their speech patterns and the way that they are talking to each other, and then turn that into a script that replicates, simulates, if you like, their environment in a way that's really uh, believable and credible and passable and feels close to what they're going to experience. That's super important. Uh, that writing experience from the team that we have now comes from a huge range of backgrounds. Some people are more in script writing, some people are more in copywriting, uh, but everyone has a creative portfolio that they're really proud to show off. Um, the next part of the role would be around pedagogy and training. Um, not everyone comes to us with a background in formal training or in learning and development, but everyone has been through bad training and everyone who comes to us and works with us has a viewpoint on that and is able to articulate what they think works and what they think doesn't. Um, one of the other important aspects is that this is a 
game design wrong. It's not a game development wrong. Um, we actually have our own in-house system that is very, very easy to use. And also at the other end of things, lets you do really complex, interesting stuff if you're smart about how you use the tools available to you. The last thing that I'd call out is that because of the nature of the role, you're trying to simulate other people's jobs. Most forms of experience are valuable. Um, you are in such a strong position to build your own credibility and to, to share your own insights with our clients when you have a shared background with them. So from an attendee perspective, we are a scale-up, um, not really a startup anymore. Um, which means that there is always lots of opportunity to grow. I mean, especially out in the States where things are growing pretty rapidly. Um, we have a really strong track record of having people within a Tetsi spot something that they want to do that they're passionate about and carving a way towards it. Um, outside of a Tetsi, this is sometimes people's first step towards game development and game design. Um, and it might be the first time they've really professionally, continually worked with a game design or script writing tool set. So that unlocks all sorts of interesting possibilities. Um, if someone wanted to do stuff outside of a Tensi, I mean, you have spent a lot of your time then interviewing people that you've only just met, running workshops with, doing research, turning that research into scripts, into interactive narratives, into games that you are then able to point to and say, hey, I have X years experience of creating games. Also, X years of experience doing research with people and sitting down and talking to them and interviewing with them. Um, so yeah, lots of interesting stuff on the table.